Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. April is National Stress Awareness Month, and the more we're stressed, well, the harder it is for us to be happy, right? We all want to be happy. Well, it turns out that happiness is a brain function, and with a healthier brain comes a happier life. Our next guest, Dr. Daniel Amen, is a physician, psychiatrist, and founder of the Amen Clinics with 10 locations nationwide. He has a brand new book out. It's called You Happier. And in it, it reveals the seven neuroscience secrets to becoming happier. And we are very happy to have you here on the show. Doctor, thank you for joining us. I, I was always told happiness was a choice. You're saying it's actually a brain uh, function? So your brain is the organ of happiness. And when your brain is healthy, you are much more likely to be happy. And it's not one thing. What we discovered is there are actually five different brain types. And what makes one type happy, okay. jumping out of an airplane, will make another type completely miserable. <laughs> and so knowing your brain type and keeping your brain healthy are foundational secrets of happiness. All right. Well, you mentioned these five primary brain types. Let's go through them and break them down. Let's see if I can find myself in them. Can you tell us what they are? So balance, where most anything will make you happy. Spontaneous, where you need novelty. Yeah. Persistence, where routine is absolutely essential. Uh, sensitive, where you need to be connected. The pandemic was really hard oh, yeah. on the sensitive brain types. And cautious, where safety is your primary value. Those people are not jumping out of airplanes unless the plane is on fire. All right. Does uh, those brain types, uh, when you look at on paper, do any of them intersect? Because I, I heard I'm spontaneous. I, I, that's where I get my, my happiness from. But I also am a connecting person. Can they enter kind of like there be a hybrid of each or? Well, actually, there are 16 types. So oh, okay. there's five primary types and then people have combinations. So, for example, people who grew up in alcoholic homes often, often are a combination of both spontaneous and persistent. Uh, makes a lot of sense. You know, and it's important for us to all be happy. That's why we're here on earth and uh, uh, why you would not want to be happy. It blows my mind. But how do we protect our happiness? How do we make sure that we're always going to be happy maybe 10, 15 years from now? Well, it's really the seven secrets I talk about in the book. But the foundational one is the health of your brain, the actual physical health of your brain is essential to happiness. People who have lower activity in the front part of their brain, they struggle more with happiness. So don't let your children hit soccer balls with their head or okay. play tackle football, because if you damage the brain, happiness is harder to find. Yeah, and I know that a lot of uh, head trauma victims, they go through a lot of depression. Is that kind of that same way where you, what you're talking about? Yeah, I did the big NFL study sort of at a time when the NFL was struggling with the truth about traumatic <laughs> yes. brain injury in football. My NFL players, I mean, very successful, smart, great people, four times the level of depression wow. as the general population. All right, yeah, we gotta protect our noggin, it looks like. Uh, I'm sure your book is packed with other great uh, information. It's very intriguing to me, but do you have like just a blanket words of advice for people as far as being happy, other than just say, hey, be happy? Well. Start by not believing every stupid thing you think. Okay. Whenever you feel sad or mad or nervous or out of control, write down what you're thinking. And then just ask yourself, is that true? Or is it really nonsense that you got from a different generation? Is there something to writing down? I've always heard that the, there's a function that goes from the brain to the hand to it's written down that is actually uh, an exercise of release or that, something along those lines. Yeah. It helps to get it out of your head. And then when you put the nonsense on paper, your good brain can evaluate it to see whether or not it's a thought that helps you. Most people are way meaner to themselves than they are to other people. And if, they're, if you're mean to yourself, how can you expect to be uh, happy or nicer to other people? And so you got to get through those inner, inner uh, battles that you might have. Folks want to get more information. How do we get a copy of this book? It sounds so intriguing. So you happier. It's available anywhere. Amazon, Barnes and Noble, anywhere great books are sold. People can go to youhappier.com to learn more, more about our 30-day happiness challenge. Doctor, thank you so much. I, I find this very intriguing. We could talk for hours again. Thank you so much for joining us.